Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Craigslist and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you sell stuff on Craigslist? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to sell stuff on Craigslist anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're just getting started making money online, selling and buying items on Craigslist is usually the easiest way to get started and learn the processes. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the Craigslist website. Check my video description. I'll try to leave more information there. However, once you're here on the Craigslist home screen like I am, in order to sell stuff on Craigslist, first what you're going to need to do is you need to click on this post ad button here on the top right. It's written in green. Okay, so you have to have already signed into your Craigslist account. I've already signed in. If you didn't sign in already, it will prompt you to log into your Craigslist account. Next, you're going to need to choose the location where you would like to sell your item. So Craigslist is set up by city and then sub areas. So for example, I'm on the Craigslist Los Angeles and next I need to choose the neighborhood that I'll be selling in. So we'll just choose central LA and then it automatically pops up on what we're going to be doing on Craigslist. So some of these categories you will need to pay in order to sell stuff on Craigslist. So for today, I'm going to go ahead and look through here. We're not posting a job or a gig, but we are going to be selling something. So you need to disclose if you are the owner or if you're a dealer. So we'll click by owner. Next, you need to choose the category of what you're going to be selling. Make sure that you make it relevant to whatever you're selling, because if you put it in the wrong category, what's going to happen is other buyers are going to flag your listing and then Craigslist would just be end up removing it and you'll have to post it again. So they do have a long list of categories. So for for me, I'm going to go ahead and list an appliance right here. Next in this section, you want to go ahead and try to fill out as much as possible because the more information and more keywords that you put in, the likelier that a buyer is going to pop up to see your listing. So if you're selling a car, you want to definitely put the model because sometimes people search in Craigslist for the model of the car, sometimes the year, sometimes even the equipment. So it might be leather seats or the color black or automatic or manual transmission. And if you don't put those keywords into the item that you're selling on Craigslist, you're going to have less chances of those buyers seeing your listing. So I'm going to go ahead and put washer set. And then the price, we're going to go ahead and put it at 200. And the postcode code, you go ahead and just put in the zip code that you're selling this in. Okay, here you can go ahead and put in the neighborhood. So we already did central LA. However, if you have sub neighborhoods that might be relevant to your listing, you might want to put that. And that again is going to give you more chances of showing up in the search. So we'll just put Pico. And then here in the description, go ahead and just put a good description with as many keywords as possible, because the idea is to get as many eyeballs onto your listing as possible. And how you do that is by including those keywords. Okay, down here, you can go ahead and put the make, model, and size. You want to go ahead and put the condition. Now, in order to avoid wasting your time and the buyer's time, you definitely want to go ahead and be as honest as possible. Because if you put the condition as like new, and then the folks show up at your house, and it's clearly a piece of junk, really dirty, really old, then they're probably not going to buy it because they're expecting something in like new condition. So all you're doing is just wasting your time and wasting their time. Next, you can go ahead and choose these little options, delivery, cryptocurrency, Next, you can choose to have your phone number shown if you wish to do so along with your address. You might not want to do that unless you're a professional company. So if you are attracting people into your local business, then maybe you want to show your address. If you're just selling a one-off item on Craigslist, then probably you don't want to show your address. So let me scroll down a little bit more. Okay, so once you're done there, you want to click on this blue continue button. Okay, so here you can go ahead and give a visualization of the map that's going to be shown. If you want, you can go ahead and put in the street address and that way it's going to give an even more exact location. Again, that's up to you. If you want to keep your address private, you can do that. Or if you want to go ahead and move this around, you can. And that way it gives idea of the buyers, what the general location of your item is in. And then you're just going to scroll to the bottom and then click on this blue continue button. Okay. So here you can go ahead and add up to 24 pictures for the item that you're going to be selling. So you would just click on add images and then you can go ahead and choose from your photo library, or you can go ahead and take a photo by clicking here. So let me go ahead and grab an image. Okay. So I went ahead and added one photo. One thing you want to know is that you want to wait until the picture pops up down here. If it's up here in the add images, do not click on done with images. You do need to wait for those to upload into the Craigslist system like this one has. And then if you accidentally added the wrong picture, go ahead and click on this red button to close out that picture. And then once you've added enough pictures in, you want to click on done with images. Okay. So next it gives you this screen. So you can go ahead and review the item that you're selling on Craigslist. So here we have a picture. We also have the description written right here, the general location of where your item is located. 
and then the condition and any other postings that you would put right here. So if all that looks good to you and you'd like to go ahead and sell this item on Craigslist, you can scroll to the bottom and click on the blue publish button or here at the top. Okay, next, it just lets you know a few potential scams that are happening on Craigslist that you kind of want to watch out for. And now what's going to happen is when buyers see your item for sale and they want to contact you, they will email you through Craigslist. That is, unless you put your phone number into the Craigslist system so they can give you a call. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to sell stuff on Craigslist, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.